What is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, you're probably wondering what the hell is going on here. If you saw my last video, I was headed toward the playoffs looking pretty good, but I don't know what to tell you guys other than the honest truth about what happened. Um, so basically, here's the deal. I was using an old Elgato to record the previous videos, and I decided to switch over to my HD60 recently. And for some reason, when I updated the software, which made it so that my Twitch streaming was working a lot better, um, when I did that, there was some sort of an error because I don't know exactly what happened, but basically I, I updated the Elgato software and I really didn't pay attention to it. But every time that I tried to upload anything from basically the past two weeks that I recorded just purely with the Elgato, it's giving me a ton of errors on my Adobe Premiere. So I have no idea how to make those files work. So basically I'm screwed. I, I don't know what happened, but I can give you guys a quick rundown of what happened in the season. And I wish I could have shown you guys on screen. Trust me, I wish I do. Uh, I wish I could have, I mean. But um, basically similar thing to what happened in the previous season, which is that I choked it away. I was not able to even make the playoffs. I didn't get demoted. I, I was able to stay in this all Madden second string division, but now we're headed into our third season in this division. Haven't been able to get promoted, haven't been demoted. Kind of frustrating, to be honest with you. I, I feel like I could play better, but um, I, it's more frustrating to me that I don't have the videos because there was a, a play in one of the games that was one of my favorite plays that I've made all year. It was a, it was a user pick with Taylor maze I did like three or four spin moves and returned it for a touchdown and it was just awesome I, I was all excited to get you guys a video of that and unfortunately that's just not going to happen so what I'm going to do here is just continue on and start a new head-to-head -head season because I, I really didn't want to go like halfway through a season so this is what we're going to have guys we're going to go with a brand new season and just start from there. And again, I apologize, guys. I wish I could bring you the full videos, but it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. So let's move on. All right. Let's just move on. All right. So here it is, guys. Brand new game. Brand new season. Unfortunately, same old Clickwood, right? So uh, we're starting things off here in the strong formation. Uh, picking up a couple yards here up the middle with ultimate legend Marshawn Lynch. Going to try and run straight up the middle here. Didn't find a hole, so I juked back. Gained a couple more yards. Sets up now a third and three here. Should be able to pick this thing up. And we do with Marshawn Lynch. Feeling good about that. Got a first down on the first drive. So, you know, it isn't all bad. First pass of the season is a little screen pass here to Marshawn Lynch. We pick up about five there, but we lost yardage on second down, which brought up a third and eight. I tried the wide receiver screen, and it just did not work. So we ended up having to punt on our first drive. My opponent's going to start the drive here at about his 20. Picks up a first down on the first play, and then he's going to try and go deep here. But we cut it off with Patrick Peterson. That's the positional hero, Patrick Peterson, who does get the interception there. And he's going to return this thing for a decent return there. Feeling pretty good about that one. I mean, uh, obviously, I screwed up on my first drive, but definitely uh, was able to get that interception and felt pretty good about it. Got the ball down to the 35 with a nice pass to Calvin. Going to try to go back here to the uh, to the screen pass to Marshawn Lynch. I, I mean, every time that people run cover three, I feel like if I just run screen passes, it should be pretty effective. And we're trying to mix it up here by running and passing. Second and 10, we don't pick up any yards. Brings up a third now and 11. We've got a wide receiver open down the field. It's Calvin Johnson, and he is going to catch it. We are going to go up 7 to nothing early in this game. Well, I guess I shouldn't say early. In the second quarter, uh, but still fairly early in this game right now. My opponent back on offense and a huge gain there by Trey Mason. That's a 21-yard run. But on the next play, we do get the, the sack there with Jack Ham. So that set up a good situation for us here on second and 28. Unfortunately, Vontae Davis got completely posted there in coverage. That was... Uh, not like him, to be honest with you. And then Joe Hayden's going to get beat here as well by Antonio Brown. So uh, definitely kind of a frustrating way that this game is going defensively for me here. Other than that one interception by Patrick Peterson, my opponent's pretty much driven down the field very, very easily here. And he's going to continue to move it here. Running the ball with Trey Mason, passing the ball short. And uh, every time that he's tried to go deep so far, it really hasn't been successful for him. But the short yardage has been there. He's going to go for it here on fourth down. And we do slam him down like a Far Farouk spine bus from the WWE, but unfortunately the next play, Antonio Brown gets into the end zone there, beats DeMarcus Ware in coverage. Kind of a mismatch there, but uh, Ware played it even worse after the catch, so I, I don't know what happened there. 
That was the final play of the first half, though, or basically the final play of the first half. So my opponent did get the ball in the second half, and he is going to continue to run the ball. Definitely mixing up his play calling a lot. A, a lot of counter runs. I mean, that's just, it's the most effective run in Madden for the most part. But uh, he's doing a lot of counters to the left. And finally, we make a play there with Keekly, but he's definitely running the ball very effectively in this one. He's going to try and go back to the well one more time on that deep pass, and Patrick Peterson has it once again. Another huge interception by Pat Pete, but man, we just cannot run the football on offense. We just can't do it. I ended up having to punt there on that drive as well, so basically it was a, it was a moot point for me to get that interception. And I'm just really struggling on offense here. Defensively, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I mean, uh, obviously, he's he's gotten uh, a couple of interceptions, and he's driven down the field fairly effectively, but we've made plays when we've needed to with Patrick Peterson. So uh, it, it's been kind of frustrating for me on offense, though. Haven't been able to get the passing game going, and the running game just has not been effective at all. But my opponent's going to try and go over the middle there, and we say, gotcha, bitch, with a Luke Keekly interception. His first of this season. We've got three picks in this one, guys. But unfortunately, I get the ball back. Very first play, we take a sack. Fumble, and Bruce Smith is going to return it for a touchdown. <sighs> you got to be freaking hitting me, man. Like, honestly. My opponent now is going to cover that pass to Calvin Johnson. We hit it with him twice earlier in the game. Uh, that was the play we scored our touchdown on. And so he user controlled it there, but unfortunately, he left Alshon Jeffrey wide open for a huge gain there. Another nice run here with Marshawn Lynch. So right now, it's nine rushes for 35 yards after that one. That was like a 18 20 yard gain so i mean as you could see there we just were not effective prior to that play just trying our best here to just set up somewhat of an effective running game as we pick up a short first down there with our guy franco harris and look at this catch by kelvin johnson guys that got tipped in midair and he caught it as he was falling to the ground i have no words Complete luck, to be completely honest with you. His players played that uh, post pattern very, very well. So we did tie it up there with about a minute and a half left. So a minute and a half left here, and he's going to try and run this football. I cannot believe he didn't fumble there. Uh, I know for a fact if I'm running with my quarterback there, he is definitely fumbling. But my opponent now sets up a third and seven. This is a huge, huge play here. We're trying to bring some pressure. We do not want him to be able to scramble with his quarterback. Cannot allow it. Oh, and he's going to scramble with his quarterback. I sent pressure from that side with the sole intention of stopping that. And he was still able to get around, unfortunately. And he was able to kick a field goal as time expired. So we are going to walk out with a loss here, 17-14. to 14. I feel like I played fairly well on defense, forced three interceptions, but offensively, man, I just was not able to do anything. I tried to mix up some of my plays on offense. You guys know I went back to some of the old favorites, but uh, I was running out of four wide more often than I normally do, trying to get something going in the running game, and it just wasn't working for me. So, I mean, like I said, it sucks to get the loss here in the first game, but it's not like a loss where it's just demoralizing and I got my ass whipped. So I don't feel terrible about it. Hopefully we can do better in the second game though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as well. It does greatly help my channel. Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys again soon.